This is Becca Salomon with Southern Horse Talk, and I am on the line with someone all the way down from Dothan, Alabama. Is that right, Dothan? Yeah. Yeah, Dothan, Alabama. <laughs> and she, <laughs> she is in charge of um, a research project that she's done for about 15, 20 years called the Balanced Horse Project. And now she has developed something called Straightforward Horsemanship, and her name is Pat Cleveland. Welcome to the show, Pat. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm having a good day. Oh, good. I hope everybody else is too. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, we had you on the show not too long ago, and we did a long conversation about you know what your business is all about. And so, you know, today we want to do just a nutshell what it's about, and then get into some updates of what you've been doing lately. So, tell everybody what is the Balanced Horse Project in a nutshell. Um, it's a very dynamic approach to changing our way of addressing animal care and how we treat and train our animals so that it's a completely organic, self-sufficient, and it ends up producing a sustainable horse who, instead of being twisted from birth, can actually improve his conformation to become straight. And when they become straight, they aren't painful if we girth them up or put a halter on their head. They actually are completely willing to participate in learning and participate with our weekend riding or out and show. And so we've taken a long time to document it and treat it as a scientific study, but it is actually how you can organically train a horse and instead of having him fall apart, he gets better, improves every day. That's awesome. And so what does uh, straightforward horsemanship mean? Where did that come from? Um, we came up with a concept of straightforward horsemanship because I used to teach um, riding lessons. Some people don't think I ride. Uh, yeah, I'm a really educated horse person. And I had a, a business called Straightforward Riding because when I teach you riding lessons, it's not where I'm drilling you around the riding ring every step. I give you the concept of feeling and interaction with the horse. And so we took that a little further from straightforward riding into straightforward horsemanship where we're making it really easy for people to understand how to connect with themselves so that they can connect with the horse. And in doing so, they can learn all types of holistic and organic approaches to become sustainable horse people. So, so another concept of this whole program is you know, being self-sufficient horsemen. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, what I've learned is um, horses eat a lot when they're uncomfortable. And they don't put weight on. You'll see this with rescues. You know, they have these very emaciated horses and you put hundreds of dollars worth of feed into an animal every month it gets expensive so if we reduce the the twist of the horse's body then his pain goes away he's able to use the calories that we're feeding to be efficient to make bone or muscle or movement and they eat less which means that you don't have to pay so much to feed them so that was that was point number one Point number two is the horse's conformation changes from, say you rode your horse today and it was great, and then you get on him tomorrow and it, it doesn't work so well, it's not the same ride. Well, his body twisted, and when he twists because his muscles got tired, then he starts putting his weight into his feet differently, and when that happens, you start to see changes in how the hoof grows. You get changes in shape or angle. So, what we learned is if we control how the weight distribution and the center of gravity in the horse is positioned, then the horse's feet grow symmetrically and you don't need to put on corrective shoes. Now, I'm not against shoeing, okay? Because, oh, it's barefooter, barefooter. No, I'm, I'm wanting the horse's feet to have the benefit of being symmetrical before we put the shoes on. And then, that saves you a lot of money as well. So there's these simple things that we could be looking at to, you know, still support our economy in the horse industry, but also to help ourselves out so we can maybe go on some trail rides or out to some more horse shows. So a lot of it has to do with correct confirmation 
the way it was genetically supposed to be. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody just looks at a horse and says, oh, well, that's his confirmation. And we don't realize that confirmation changes according to injury, uh, stress in the environment, state of disease, etc. So what is the reason why we have confirmation? And the reason why we have confirmation is it's actually the language of how a horse physically shifts his, his frame, his body, so that he can comfortably create vertical balance. And this happens, these pain points are first established when the horse is born. A very large number of foals, I think it's 73% of foals, are born with birth trauma. That being fractured ribs, dislocated ribs, dislocated shoulders, cramped up neck, uh, twisted withers. And we do not diagnose it. We don't even address it as a horse community. And if we were aware of that, then we would change how we approach training the horse. That's what the Balanced Horse Project is about. We do preparation uh, to prepare these horses to come in and train with straight and symmetrical bodies. Okay. Well, that, that makes complete sense. You, have to, you get everything going the way it's supposed to go. You won't have the pain and you won't have the resistance uh, in your training. And, and I can definitely... Or the belt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the belt. I can definitely relate to that because I was just thinking about my shoulders just now. I'm looking down, you know, into the Skype and I'm thinking, oh, that's a little bit painful. You know? <laughs> Maybe I need to redo that and redo my confirmation. <laughs> um, yeah. It, it, Everything we do, everything we do with a horse starts with his head. We have to control his head. We have to control his neck and his shoulders. And I just call that whole area Route 66 because it's just like one injury point after another. And we aren't aware when we put pressure on a horse and he says no, that we should stop. Most people go, oh, you said no. Well, I'm going to say heck no and come at you harder. And that's where I think we're missing what the horse is trying to say. And before we didn't have any information about how to change it, the Balanced Horse Project is a library of that type of information for people who are interested in changing the way that they're approaching problem solving and going towards a more organic and more um, connected relationship with your animal. That's what we're about. Okay. And tell us about some of your, I guess, um, success stories and some recent success stories, because I believe you've got some horses that are, you know, going to an extreme cowboy yeah. race and, and all sorts of things yeah. going on. Tell us about that. Well, people, people come to me with all types of problems and I look at it and I say, okay, this is how we can help this horse. I may not necessarily know the discipline that the person is riding, but because I work in the biomechanics and how to create symmetrical balance, I'm able to improve the horse regardless of his discipline. So I have very wonderful people, Tim and Linda Happ, who are traveling right now to Hamilton, Texas with two horses. One horse is Dealer. Dealer has already placed ninth in the world championships for the extreme cowboy race. He had a front rotation of his foot that was 35 degrees off center. It is now straight. He wow. used to buck in the middle of performance and now he's going, wow, I can do this. And then his stable mate, his stable mate is Bo. Bo was a retired reigning horse and could not work anymore. He got stuck in a fence and almost amputated his left front leg, sorry, left front foot. And we worked to take the pressure off of him. And all of a sudden his foot started to heal up. And I walked away thinking, well, this will be good for this old man because he's 27. And Tim gave him a couple of months and he said, we took him on a trail ride and he was so good. He <laughs> took him to Tennessee and qualified him for the world championships as well. So That's right great. now we have two horses that are ranked side by side heading out to do some some representation of what balanced horses can actually do in, in competition. That's awesome. And, and you you work on horses throughout you know the United States and even Canada. Is that right? 
And so you have a trip coming up soon uh, up north. Is that right? Uh, heading out of Dothan on December the 4th. Sorry, December the 3rd. And we're working our way up Highway 65. So if anybody is between Dothan, Alabama and Columbus, Ohio, and they would like to have a stop in and work with their horse and help to support them with educating them about what we do, um, let us know. You can get in touch with me on Facebook at The Balanced Horse Project on Facebook. And then we're heading up to Columbus and working on horses between Columbus in Canton, Ohio. And then we're heading all the way up to Toronto. We have to go to Kendall Hill Stud Farm and work on horses there. And we're working also with the Canadian Rescue. Um, Catherine Hicks has asked us to come in and work with her. She runs a private rescue. And then we're headed all the way back down to North Carolina and then around the Charlotte area and then into the Atlanta area. And so we're hoping to be home sometime between December the 10th and the 14th. So it just depends on how many horses are booked in. Wow, that's, that's a big long trip and that short short days right there. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for my husband to come home because he is the driver. <laughs> there you go. Now, for people that don't have access to Facebook, is there a email or phone number that you want to share? Sure. Um, I do have a website, but I don't go to it very much. <laughs> but that does inspire me. It's just hard for me. I find I do a lot of stuff on Facebook. But you can email me at the balance, sorry, at Cleveland at gmail.com. Or you can give me a call at 334-718-7700. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you uh, sharing with us today and giving us an update as to what's going on with the Balanced Horse Project and yourself. Thank you so much, Pat. Thank you. Enjoy and have a good day. All right. And we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay.